is Stan Rojas. I'm competing with my neighbor who is working on his truck, so you'll have to bear with the sound. But about a year ago, I made this parabolic mirror, and a couple of years before that, we did a different one with a square design. This has a pull tab on the back, so whenever you pull it, it allows you to adjust the focal length. This is a Mylar blanket stretched across a design that I came up with. The links to the videos on how to build this design and the other one are below. I'm going to be showing you how well it works at 30 feet. So the way that it works, unlike this large parabolic mirror that we made by turning aluminum and putting a mirrored coating on it, this has a fixed focal point. This mirror doesn't change. For a shape like this, you can pretty much make a very powerful parabolic mirror. This will cook about three pounds of rice in 30 minutes, equivalent to about a 2500 watt electric burner. Very, very powerful. The focal point on this is fixed. It is right here. So people worry about planes and stuff flying over. They can't see it because a flat mirror is actually more dangerous. The focal point is there, beyond that, it scatters to infinity. I'll show you what makes the adjustable mirror different. So this is my solar playground. There's Fresnel lenses, garbage, giant Fresnel lens. There is the adjustable parabolic mirror that we're showing in this video, the huge 55 inch one. Mm, safety fire extinguishers they're all over the place we got water back here too it's pretty wet but what I'm going to show you is this parabolic mirror which is curved acrylic these are the ones that we sell on our website greenpowerscience.com and I'm going to show you how awesome this is for cooking So if you put a pan of food on there, it cooks pretty much like that one's equivalent to like a 2000 watt burner. So this is a Mylar blanket stretched over a frame. You can draw a vacuum. It actually works better. You get a very tight focal point. You can cook food from six, seven feet away. The video I did with the square design is pretty cool. It shows the whole process of that. And this is the most cost effective way to concentrate sunlight. It works really good. What this has, this, this is different. So this one could have a vacuum drawn on it, but it's got a pull tab on the back. So when you pull it, the shape changes. It displaces the air inside and causes lower pressure, well, kind of creates a small vacuum. So when you focus it on a target, like that piece of wood, the total area of this comes down to a common focal point. Allows you to do some pretty amazing things. We're going to test it with an aluminum can. So we're going to set up right next to a glass bottle. Production crew was here to film something. 
for a TV show. A lot of people make a big deal about how these stuff can burn those. Very thin metal, kind of, I don't know. It makes for good TV. And this is what it did to the soda can at 25 feet. Obviously our Fresnel lenses would cut that right in half instantly and burn it. There's videos that we've done with that. There's really nothing to these. They're so thin that really doing this to a can is not that impressive. Probably do it with a small lighter if you wanted to. <clears throat> this one's full. Mm. with concentrated sunlight, work in an area that is fire resistant. Don't put for no lenses, parabolic mirrors inside your house or on the roof because there's really no reason for it and you of course risk burning your house down. One thing I forgot to mention about parabolic mirrors with very long focal lengths, like the adjustable one, is that they're arrayable. Because they are a great distance away from the target, you can put two, three, four, five of them into one area. The shorter focal lengths, like the parabolic mirror over there, you can't do that because just the physics doesn't allow it. So a parabolic mirror with a very long focal length like this, many of them can be put together. I'm your host, Dan Rojas.